Hey folks, it's Speedy Stevie Video Time again. Mini has just launched a limited Patty Hopker edition of their Cooper S. First, here's look at how the basic Mini developed before the 1275 Cooper S came along. What a great car the 1275 Cooper S was, I remember it well having built one myself from parts. A true go-kart on steroids. But it was the famous Monte Carlo Rally win in 1964 by Patty Hopkirk which rocketed the Mini to global fame. Hopkirk can still get excited about the driving characteristics of the classic Mini. The Mini was a very advanced motor car. Its front-wheel drive and the transversely mounted engine at the front presented significant advantages, just like the fact that the car was small given that the roads had lots of bends and were narrow, explained the rally driver from Northern Ireland as he recalled his greatest triumph. Here he is, on the Col de Tourney. This time, the little car was styled in a livery of British racing green. Fast forward to December 15, 2020, when Hopkirk took delivery of a new limited edition Mini, named in his honor. Northern Irish rally driver Patrick, Paddy, Hopkirk, MBE, is among the first of just 100 customers in the UK to receive the Mini Paddy Hopkirk limited edition, named in his honor to commemorate his triumph at the 1964 Monte Carlo rally in the classic Morris Mini Cooper S Mark I. When asked what the special edition means to him Paddy said, I'm so flattered to have a Mini named in my honor. Motorsport is long behind me now and for my win at the Monte Carlo rally to be remembered in this way is a great thrill and honor. The designers at Mini have done a wonderful job. They've got a lot of the features on it just like the classic Mini I took to victory, with the number 37, the bonnet stripe and the colors, it reminds me of my very lucky days and wonderful memories. The Patty Hopkirk limited edition is based on the Mini Cooper S3 door hatch. And now here's an historic video showing that famous Monte Carlo rally win. Everybody wants to win the Monte Carlo rally. It was a very glamorous event. When I joined BMC, the Mini came along and surprised the world. became a David and Goliath, the might of the other car manufacturers spending a fortune trying to win the event. It was a small car, so the roads looked big to the Mini. We're beaten by the big American cars down the streets, but we would beat them in the twisty bits. It was difficult from the point of view of snow and ice, the fight you had against nature. And we got to the finish, and it's not like modern day with telephones and electronics. So nobody knew who was doing well. And I got woken at 4 o'clock in the morning by a French journalist. And he said, I think you've won the rally. There was a great combination coming together of hard work, wonderful team of mechanics, team manager, wonderful co-driver. And the Mini to win that against really powerful cars showed how good it was. It made the car famous, and my biggest thrill probably wasn't winning the rally, was meeting Princess Grace, because <laughs> she was a very famous film star. And Bruce Forsyth did a Sunday night at the Palladium show, and um, they got the Mini on that. So 27 million viewers saw that the Mini had won the Monte Carlo Rally. It was wonderful because the Beatles uh, sent me a telegram. When I flew back in after the rally, I turned right at a no-entry sign or something, and a policeman stopped and said, Who do you think you are, Paddy Hofkirk? <laughs> I'm so flattered. I mean, motorsport's long behind me now, and uh, for it to be remembered in this way is, is a great thrill, a great honor. The designers at Mini have, have done a wonderful job, and they've got a lot of the features with the 37 on it, with the stripe and the colors. It reminds me of my very lucky days. Oh, it's just wonderful memories. That's it for another Speedy Stevie video, subscribe now.